The Music Cut, the first stop for all the latest in music. New releases this week include The Pretenders, Sons of Angels, and originally, Madonna's brand new one, and Bruce Dickinson, who is all out on his own. And right now, The Music Cut is pleased to announce that the rock and roll band Stalker from Bloomsdale, New Jersey, is now in Dickinson. Be sure you take part in the rock and roll excitement this week. Stalker will be performing Wednesday night at the St. Anthony Club, South Art on Friday night, and Gladstone on Saturday night. So, if you're ready to rock a little, rock a stalker this week. This message brought to you by the Music Cut, your music leader in Dickinson. The hour is 7 o'clock here at K123 KDIX. That was brand new band from Bloomsfield, New Jersey. Stalker here on KDIX with Lies and Love. And speaking of Stalker, I have all these guys down here in our studio. Look out! Yeah! Woo! All right, a fine and warm welcome to you guys. We're glad to have you in town. We really are. Dickinson needs something like this. We need some activity, some excitement happening in this town. Uh, how, first of all, I want to know how... How did you guys get into Dickinson? What what was the main reason of you guys coming down here? Brian Sandy was the culprit, wasn't he? Yeah, Brian got it. Okay, Brian Sandy. Uh, okay, some of the members of the band here, we have Mark Brines. Burns. 
Brian Burns, lead vocals, right? Yep. And Mark, Martin Beck? Bach. 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 Gee, oh, look at this now, huh? I'm not from Jersey, no. <laughs> and he's guitars, keyboard, and vocals, and Andy of uh, Every. Every. Okay, and he's guitars and vocals. And Rui. Rui. Oh, I thought it was Roy, but it was Rui. <laughs> he plays bass, guitar, and vocals, and of course, AC Sticks. We all know what he plays. Hey, we got the drums there. <laughs> um, now, you guys are going to be playing tomorrow night at the St. Anthony Club. Uh, you guys getting pretty prepped up, getting wound up for that? Oh, we're excited. Okay, I, we're expecting a good turnout for that. Then Friday night, you're going to be in Southart, Saturday night in Gladstone. $4 a head to get in for the best rock and roll in town, right? Know that. You got it. Okay. Okay, now, I heard something about you guys got some major producers behind you. Who are some of these, who are some of these producers, and who did they uh, produce before you guys? Well, Bo Hill has a copy of our tape now. He does all the Rat albums, Warrant. You know, he produces everything. Everything you listen to, Bo Hill does. And Vinny Vincent wants to, wants to produce our demos and says he can get us a contract. And, you know, we're fielding offers, taking our time, being careful, yeah. not putting our yeah. names on the wrong line. Yeah, right. And hopefully we won't get robbed. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I'll worry about that too much around here anyway. Um, how, okay, I'm sure you guys look pretty young, younger than me. I know I'm not that old, of course. I'm only 23, but uh, how old are you guys? Well, uh, I'm Andy, and I'm uh, 19. I'm Rui, and I'm 19. I'm Mark. I'm the grandfather at 21. Oh, oh, look out, look out. AC, 19. Morty, 18. And we got, uh, this is the crew, he must be one of the crew members over here. Yeah, he's, he's just kind of hiding back here. <laughs> Come on over here, Mike. We got to talk to you, too, because you're a major part of this deal, too. He took a 32-hour trip with us, too, so he's got to be included. And without his money, there'll be no demo, no demo at all. financial Yep. Thank God I got to buy a car, yeah. or else there would be no money. <laughs> okay, now, what, what is, your, what is your, primarily your job? Just basically get these guys set up, get them to where they're going? Okay, is there a lot of work involved in that? No, just no. lift and move. What about the women? <laughs> the women, oh boy, look out. <laughs> um, yeah, lift, move, push up, whatever. I noticed one thing uh, when I talked to you guys yesterday to organize this little interview, that you guys really, uh, I asked, I talked to Andy. Yeah. yeah, okay, okay, Andy. Um, I talked to you, and the first thing you did, I asked you a question, can you come, that guys come down here? The first thing you did was you checked with the other, with the other band members. Now that I admired, you guys really stick together. I've noticed that. Uh, it's this, um, I guess what I wanted to say is that um, that's what it takes is a lot of team effort. It's got to be. I mean, if one person starts just doing everything by themselves, you know, the other people might not like it, and it'll just collapse. Now, I know a lot of these rock bands they get started and then they fight because of reasons like that and then they cause breakups yeah. and I don't think that's gonna happen to you guys because you guys seem like you got your act together yeah. I mean enjoy ourselves you know if, if, you, if you play for free for years and years and years just putting up with everyone's nonsense and right. putting up with going to shows and not getting any money then you make it big if you can't get along now you just did it for 10 years for free now they're right. going to give you all the money they have to stay together, and people can't do it. Right. It's a joke. We love each other. We, we're out here just having a ball. Yeah, no, it was it's better, though. It's, it's, it's needed as far as checking each other, you know, keeping each other in line. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think now, you guys are not checking each other in the way no. that all... Uh, oh, 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 no, okay, we got to make sure we keep this clean, you know. Come down to the motel and say... <laughs> no, we, we, each, we each have two different beds in each room. So, <laughs> yes. Yeah. We split that. No, I noticed we were all in your hotel room last night. We had a good time over there. I noticed a lot of nice-looking girls were over there last night. Did you guys bring any of your girlfriends up? No. 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 Yeah. Really, you just. Yeah. <laughs> well, they're smarter than I thought. Holy cow. <laughs> uh, your first performance, where did you guys first perform? The first show I did with them was the Cat Club. Cat Club and we were thrown to the wolves. And we, we played like a half-hour sex. That's all we had. And everyone wanted to know. They wanted more music. They wouldn't let us off the stage. I didn't even know these guys. I didn't know what songs they knew and what they didn't know. So we butchered uh, Paranoid by Sabbath, and then we did Rock and Roll, and we just winged it. The crowd was going wild. We loved it. Yeah. All of a sudden, I said, wow, this is a nice situation I just stepped into. New York is tough, isn't it? I heard that. Yeah. You can't make it there. You can't make it anywhere. It's true. And I take it you guys made it in New York. Yeah, we, yeah we're out here now. You know, we conquered, we conquered the East Coast. Now we're out here going to terrorize your town. <laughs> okay, I noticed you guys got a tape out now. It's called Stalker, volume number one. This is your first tape now that you guys put together? First real tape, yeah. Your first real tape. Real, real tape. Okay, I'm also going to mention to the public out there that uh, Stalker will be available down at the Music Cut as of tomorrow morning. So if you guys want to pick them up firsthand and listen to them, hey, it's a dog on to good tape. I listened to it. Uh, Troy down here at the studio listened to it. He loved it. He's shaking his head. Yep, I'm a mellow guy, but hey, it was good. <laughs> uh, you guys want to throw in anything else? 
How'd you guys get the name Stalker? Yeah, how'd you find your name Stalker? There you go, there you go. Okay. All right, okay. Me and AC, when we were little, you know, <laughs> we were looking at, you know, we're looking for names, you know, just... So we're looking at encyclopedias and stuff, and we came up with Stalker out of a page. What does Stalker mean? Um, Stalker the means the prowl. To prowl. Ooh. The hunt. Like for record now. deals, for unsuspecting young ladies. <laughs> <laughs> we are on the hunt. Yeah. On the hunt. You better watch out women out there, because <laughs> these guys are going to be in town all the way up until uh, Saturday. Yeah. Right? Saturday. Uh, now, when you leave Dickinson, are you guys just going to go straight back home to New Jersey? Slowly. Slowly. Taking our time, yeah. True. So they don't We'll like from further on down the road? No, not for now, you know, we want to go back, you yeah, know. We're definitely not going to do what we did last, what we did when we came here. We got here in 30 hours straight driving, and we're not going to do that again. We went more than half the country <laughs> in a day. Probably said new records, but we're not going to do that again. <laughs> we were too pumped. We were just getting closer and closer, and we were just pumped like and pumped, and we pressed on. Pulling the sleep at the wheel, everything, man. It's just yeah. catnaps. We did it. Yeah. <laughs> I got a ticket in Indiana. I got pulled over by the Indiana State Trooper. Yeah. Yeah. Hi, officer. Yeah. <laughs> and what happened there? He said, uh, why are you going so fast? I said, well, I got caught up in the traffic. <laughs> and he looked back and he said, you know, you passed everyone about a mile and a half. <laughs> <laughs> so I didn't write me up. Go ahead. And he did give you a ticket. Oh, you know it. What did it cost you? Uh, I don't know yet, but no. I told, I'll pay it next time I swing through Indiana. Yeah. So you're all beat. <laughs> <laughs> Come get me. <laughs> okay, now, um, when do you guys think, uh, now, I know we're, he was messing with the camcorder last night. He's messing with it right now, filming everything. You guys were talking about MTV, the music television network of the United States. Uh, when do you guys expect to go on MTV? Yeah, we're starting our video in about a month. We're not even sure what song we're going to do yet. Yeah. We just know we're going to. Yeah. Pop it in. It's working stage, you know. It's skeleton right now. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> that takes a lot of work, too, I bet. Yeah. 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 Lots. Well, you know, a lot. Of, a lot of hurry up. Camera. Yeah, who is that man behind the camera over there? Louis. Louis Petui, Louis Pebworth. All right. Louis! 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 Um... Okay, now, are you guys planning on working on another tape in the near future, or are you just going to try to promote and push this one right now? Now, you guys quit looking at the nudie poster posters on the walls. Now, come on. Come on, now. Let's get serious here. <laughs> I might take that Lisa Lisa post on the way out. No, 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 you're not. Uh -uh, that one stays up there. You guys ain't going to touch that one. <laughs> Man, Samantha Fox is up there. Okay, we're going to get into one more song, then we're going to come back. Good time, Gypsy. Good time, Gypsy. Oh, yeah, wait a minute. No. Yeah, we'll let them introduce it. Yeah, we come want on to down. <laughs> You're the next contestant, on. Don't get You're being molested. <laughs> Here we go. Here we go. Stalker.
And there you are. Goodbye, Gypsy. Brand new song. Good time, Gypsy. Whoa! On Stalker here on KDIX. Um, I guess a couple more questions. I tell you what, for the public out there, if you guys want to give us a call down here at the studio at 225 9662 and talk to some of the band members over the phone, we'll put you on the air. Uh, that's 225 9662. Give us a call down here. Please call. Yeah, that they're saying, please give us a call down here. And they'll be glad to answer any questions. Would you like to introduce a buddy, Shane. Shane, say hello to everybody. Yeah. Shane, everybody knows Shane. Everybody knows Shane. Keep crying, Shane. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay, what are you guys' plans when you get back to New Jersey? What are you guys going to do? What's, what's the first thing? Go back to work. <laughs> <laughs> do you guys have other jobs besides to being in the band? Yeah. For now, yeah, you know. It's, it's tough out there just trying to make it on a musician's <laughs> payroll because it's very <laughs> slight. <laughs> So you guys put in a lot of hours in. I suppose you guys have your jobs, and then you go to get together, and you guys practice and practice. What do you guys do? What, what are some of the things you do? What do you do? Oh, well, job? At your job. I work, yeah. I'm an assistant manager at a deli. <laughs> <laughs> assistant manager. He slices the ham himself. No one else gets to slice the ham. <laughs> assistant manager. <laughs> get out of here. Assistant manager. <laughs> Two well, people work. One's the manager and he's the assistant manager. Okay. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a driver for a print shop. I just deliver their jobs. and That's basically a boring job. So uh, yeah. Both of you just graduated from high school, right? Yeah. What, what high school did you guys go to? St. Anthony's High School in Jersey City, New Jersey. Uh -huh. <laughs> you guys all went to the same high school then? Uh, no? Uh, no? None of us. How'd you guys meet then? <clears throat> how, yeah, how did you all together? Well, uh, well I, was, I was a real bad kid in school, you know. Mm. I, ninth Ooh. grade and tenth Ooh. grade, those were like the best years of high school. Ooh. I used to go to school with Marty and so they threw me out tenth grade, but you know, by then we started getting together, so. But I graduated from, from the band high and not <laughs> They bounced Rui like a bad check. Yeah. <laughs> After I found Rui, my grades just like plummeted. Yeah. Uh, went from his, yeah, he was this really what? nice yeah, kid. Yeah, guitar We went better. to Catholic school and he used to sit in the back of like theology, like studying real quiet and, you know. <laughs> and look at you now. Yeah. Uh, you guys don't look like the type of guys that'd be studying in the classroom. Well, uh, right, right. Oh, this guy's uh, genius. My essay, my first time was in 1140. Then I went back, I took them again, I only got a 1060, I went down, I guess. <laughs> I don't know what they expected me to get, I guess they wanted me to per perfect the you thing. You drew a different picture than the other time. <laughs> you, you, drew, you made a little hey, picture tell, different. Tell your job. Yeah, I work at ESP Guitars in New York City. What do you mean? Um, well, you know, I mean, <laughs> different people walk in there, so I get a chance to hang out with George Lynch and stuff like that. And uh, the, guys Stevens, the guys from Tesla. the guys from He meets everybody, he's a dirty dog. Is what yeah, he right. Right. How do you meet all these big time rock and roll bands? Uh, well... It's just, it's weird because the first time I met somebody like that, you know, I was starstruck. Uh, and, then I, and then after a while, it just, I became jaded to it. And then, of course, I became the star. And, uh, <laughs> you're looking down at me. Oh, now he's a mega star. Now, now I'm, you know, we're not too right. conceited. <laughs> so these rock and roll bands are coming to you, or are you going to them? No, they, they come to us. We have a, um, a place up there in New York City, and they just come there whenever they need stuff. Yep. And so they just walk in there, and there's like just a couple of people working, so. It's yep. great. Yep. And then we make sure they all leave with a tape. George oh, Lynch thinks the tape is great, and you know, a lot of people enjoy it. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Oh, yeah. I know I do. Yeah, I'm thank cool. you. You bet. It's fantastic. Yes, right. we need them. We're going to stay pushing this tape for a while. We, you know, we have new songs, but we don't want to record new stuff before we, you know, we want everyone to enjoy it. this out yeah. yet, you know. It's only been out for like three, three weeks. weeks. Over two... He almost got you. He almost got you. Oh, on. <laughs> there you go, his Where is Brian Stanley, by the way, anyway? He's playing softball, Brian. If you're out there, hit a home run, bro. Yeah, man. Yeah. <laughs> That's it. Well, no, he said if you hit a home run, right? Yeah, yeah. Brian's right, sitting there picking splinters. I wish I could get into this game. Yeah, my God. <laughs> 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 his position's left out. <laughs> you're kind of quiet standing over here. Oh, Marty, he's uh, a mime. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Marty, I just Don't love it. Your, your keyboards, vocals, and guitars, which one do you play the most? <laughs> guitars. <laughs> guitars. Yeah, guitars, okay, you look like yeah. a guitar player. Not, not a keyboard player. But. Nah, yeah. keyboards are just in the studio. We don't use them live. Yeah. Oh, That's okay. just to fill out the sound. Okay. Well, what's the studio name that you guys started out at in New Jersey? Studio E. Studio, Studio E. e. Yeah. yeah, Dave Dare. David Dare. Yeah. Greatest guy, man. Greatest produced and seduced world. by David Dare. Well, yeah. yeah. Stayed up late night. Stayed up late night. Stayed Late night, down yeah. up, and say hi to his dog, Tiger. Yeah. yeah. Hey, tiger. Hoof, hoof, hoof. Dog. I love you. <laughs> Did you guys bring your pets down here, too? No. no. no, no okay. Yeah, we had a little uh, ferret at the party last night. Went to the bathroom on my rug. <laughs> I had to throw out a pair of socks because of that little thing. stinker. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, those ferrets. I don't know. So is this your tape going to be released, guys? 50 states? You know, all the... 
No, we have no, we have no distribution but ourselves, so it'll get to your state when we pack up the bus and bring it. It's been doing pretty good. We got letters from Russia, actually, and we got letters from Romania and Romania. During the village, I called her up one day, and she goes, you guys are the first band ever to get a, a letter from Russia sent into Metal Edge. All the band, Bon Jovi, Van Halen, everybody. We're the first one to get a letter from Russia. Under Who did we be bon, bon Jovi Let's finished see. behind us, bon Guns N' Roses yeah. finished behind us. Poison, Tesla, wow. Tesla yeah. Tesla Leopard. You guys are really getting up there. We're yeah. trying, we're trying. Now, what are you guys going to find a distributor? <laughs> Maybe they should look for us. Yeah. 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 Look it seems like we come and get, get us. Yeah. yeah. We've you know? gotten this far on they our own. They want a piece of They should come to us. Yeah. Right. Somebody tried to sucker us into a record deal and we turned it down. How are you guys coming up with the funds to get all this done? Ooh, hard, hard sweat. Yeah. 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 Just a uh, lot, of, lot, of, lot of work. Yep. Yeah. And New York and Jersey. Yeah. Jobs. Yeah, jobs. Yeah. Put in together. Vital. Put in 100%. How do you pay living expenses and stuff like that? Well, we all live at home. We all live at home. Sure. We're not dummies. Okay, we got uh, we got the phone lines going. Go. <laughs> Good evening, you're on KDIX. Who am I speaking with? No, nobody there. Ooh. Uh, good evening, KDIX. Who do we got over in the other line here? Nobody there either. Why are there people hanging up? Hey. They hung up on us. They hung up on us. Yeah. What's going on? Hey, now, wait a minute. I didn't understand that you got to let it rain here a couple Yeah, you got, you got to let it rain because uh, there is no sound. We cannot hear the ringing of the bells. We can only see the light blinking. Sometimes we're lucky to even see that. <laughs> what else can you tell me about yourselves? I'm um, running out of things to ask here. <laughs> we're, we're having a bowl. Basically, we're having a time of our lives. Here goes the phone. Take it out. Uh-huh. Good evening, KDIX. <laughs> Who do I have on the line here? Is this the swap shop? No, this is the swap shop. Here <laughs> 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 yeah, we help you. We'll swap you a smoker tape for your little sister. Tell you what, you come down to the music cut tomorrow, you get a free tape. How's that? I do? Sound? You All betcha. Right. Come on down. <laughs> Good evening, KDIX. Who do we got on your line? Uh, Darren Decker. Darren Decker. Yeah. What hey, Darren. is your question of the evening? Hmm. For the snake. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What's that? Can't hear him. We can't hear him. Can't hear him. No. Here, hold on a second now. <laughs> <laughs> Hello? <laughs> What's up? <laughs> <laughs> What's going on? Uh, 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 your earliest influences. The guitar. Uh, guitar influences. Okay, I guess that's that's from both me and Marty. Well, Marty and I, if you'd like to speak English, <laughs> <laughs> um, well, me, for myself, I, I'm really, right now, I'm really heavily into the Chili Peppers, or Hot Chili Peppers, and King's X, too, but uh, as far as guitar, so, that's songwriting, guitar, uh, I would say George Lynch, heavily George Lynch influenced, Steve Vai is pretty good, and um, I also listen to Branford Marsalis, who's, who's a um, jazz player, okay, and, uh, okay. well, I'll let Marty answer your other questions, for now. Yeah. yeah, I'm going to go out and get it. Um, let's see, we got guitar influences. We got Ingve Malmsteen, Steve I, Carlos Santana, Eric Clapton, and Richie Blackmore. Yeah, and Shane. And Shane. <laughs> and Shane. <laughs> <laughs> and Shane. He's <laughs> <And Shane. laughs> our local All right. Okay, thanks a lot. Okay. Another phone. Oh. Yeah, we have another call there. Good evening, you're on KDIX. Who would you like to speak to? Snake. Snake! I just ran down the street to call you, man. Popular. Hello? Hello? Snake. Yeah. What are you doing? Uh, I think your album's great, man. Oh, really? That's a shame. Well, that's a shame, you. Hey, Shane, that's oh, Shane. Hey, wait a minute, Shane. I just want to tell you guys, I think your album is great. Well, thanks. Dan thanks, is going to promote That's real well. <laughs> <laughs> thanks a lot, Shane. You bet. Bye. Bye-bye. Okay. And if you can see his underwear, you know why we call him Stain. <laughs> oh, no, that was mean. That was mean. <laughs> Okay, that about runs out of time for us down here at KDIX. Tomorrow night, you guys are going to be at the St. Anthony Club. What time are you guys going to start playing? About 9. About 9, nine o'clock. Eight. We're at the Hospitality Inn. The Hospitality Inn. They're yep. treating us real well there. We're having a great time. Yeah, Love guys. the state. They want you people to come on up, pay them a visit, meet them in person. Hey. The only thing we don't know about of North Dakota is sleep. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sleep's overrated anyway. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> And then you guys are going to be performing uh, Friday night in South Art at the South Art Hall. And then Gladstone at the KC Hall on Saturday again. Yeah. So we're putting out a good show. Entropy's good. We're great. <laughs> we're putting on a good show. Come on down. Well, you guys sound fired up. I know it's going to be a good one just by oh, talking with you guys. Ready. Definitely. All right. We're, ready. we're looking forward to it. And I'm sure Buddy Dickinson's going to be. 
Thanks for talking forward to it, too. We're going to be rocking this week. Yeah! Yeah, be there! Yep. We're going to be. Okay, hey, thanks, guys, for coming in. Really appreciate your time very much. And right now, we're going to get back into one more song by Stalker. And this one is entitled Rock a Little. That was Troy's fault. He didn't cue it up. Uh, <laughs> Rock a little. 